when you mean banking, uh, I find uh, that sometimes uh, it's not only payment system. You, you think that uh, uh, there are lending and other stuff on banking, not only payment system. So you think uh, bank can uh, uh, still uh, add uh, value trust uh, on uh, the layer of uh, uh, payment system on Bitcoin? Um, for now, yes. But I think a much more fundamental change is happening in lending. Because fundamentally, and, and this may come as a shock to people, um, banks don't lend money. They certainly don't lend their money. <laughs> they lend your money. <laughs> and for that privilege, they give you 0 0.0.0001 APR, while they charge the borrower 29% compounded. That's a nice business to be in if you're an intermediary. Um, I think lending itself is changing, and not just because of Bitcoin, but Bitcoin and other currencies will accelerate it. I think we're going to see the emergence of massively global peer-to-peer -peer lending. Um, and, and I think that type of peer-to-peer -peer lending uh, will require a lot less intermediation. So will banks still have a role to play? Absolutely, I think they will. Um, they can act, especially at first in the transition period, as guarantors, as underwriters, as providers of reputation metrics and things like that that are required in the early days of the system. And over time, I think their role will be diminished, their power will be diminished, and their profit margins will be greatly diminished until what comes out at the other end doesn't look anything like what we understand to be bank-based lending today. But it might still be a bank. It just won't look like a bank. Just like phone companies today are internet service providers. And I don't have to pay five euros to call my family for ten minutes on a payphone. Um, they didn't go away, but they lost a lot of their power, a lot of their profits, and a lot of their control in the process of transforming themselves into what they are now, which is unrecognizable in some ways from what they were then. So their business model is not a pay by the minute anymore. It's a monthly rental basis. They have a lot more competition. That competition is getting global. Some of the biggest providers today are companies that weren't phone companies in the past. Google, Apple, etc., that have a lot of control. So we may see, for example, in the future, banks will exist, they will offer a lending function, it will be a very different lending function, and they will be competing with companies that were never in that space. Maybe Google, Apple, Facebook, or maybe one of the companies incubated in one of these startups.